Hey, Cody Birch here, and I've got a quick one for you today because I get this question a lot, and it's about people who want to more accurately track their ad spend and their return on their ad spend with their Facebook ads as it relates to SamCart and their purchases. Now, if you're like me, everything you sell in SamCart has at least one order bump and at least one upsell. And so sometimes it's hard to track accurately what happens throughout that whole funnel. If somebody just buys the main product, but they pass on all the bumps and all the upsells, we wanna pass a certain value back to Facebook, but what about if they buy everything? What if they buy all the bumps and all the upsells? They're total order value is quite a bit higher. And so I wanna show you this little piece of code that I found that'll pass a dynamic value back to Facebook ads so you can have results that look like this. This is on a uh, my, my Cody's Launch Maps campaign. And for this month, in the month of February, you can see I've spent 1,300 bucks, I've gotten 359 link clicks, I've gotten 37 purchases through Facebook ads, which is netted 687.05. So super specific number, and that's accurately tracked back to people that have bought stuff through my funnel. And let's ignore the fact that I'm uh, put a dollar in, get 52 two cents back out because I'm still testing quite a few things. And you can see I've got one ad set that's in this campaign that is profitable two to one. And I've turned off a lot of the ones that kind of stunk. How do we get this exact number right here? So go to the product in SamCart and go over to the advanced settings. You likely already know this first part. Copy and paste your standard pixel. This is just my normal plain Jane vanilla Facebook pixel code. So this is whenever somebody hits the page, I wanna fire the page view event, okay? But what happens when somebody checks out? Well, lucky for us, SamCart has this down here that says fire these pixels or scripts after an order is completed. So check this out. We grab this piece of code and I'll try to drop pieces of this in the comments below. Let me just copy over what I need and that's it. So here's what happened here. Here's what's really cool about this. So it tracks my pixel ID it tracks that a page view has happened, but it then fires the purchase event, and then check this out. This is where it passes the dynamic value. So this is the piece of code, this FBQ track purchase value, and then all of those characters here, and then you can even select the currency. So what most people do is, let's say you're using ClickFunnels, and they check out on page one, and they go to a thank you page, or maybe they go to a one-time offer, upsell, downsell, however you have that set up. What a lot of people do, so what I used to do is I would put a purchase event on that page with the price of the thing they bought on the previous page, but there was really not an easy way to track if they bought the order bump or not. And then if you get all the way to the purchase conversion, thank you summary page, I'm just thinking of ClickFunnels in this example, it's just hard to know, like, what did they buy? I, I can say, well, average order value is 50 bucks, so I'm just gonna put 50 bucks on that page because I know through some math, every time somebody checks out, it's probably worth around 50 bucks. But that leaves you guessing on your ad spend. We want, I'd rather people be buying these products, like check this out, this one only has three three purchases. It spent 158 bucks, but those three purchases are responsible for $318 in purchase conversion value because they bought order bumps and upsells. Whereas this one down here, it got two purchases, but it's 20 bucks. Like that's not, they did bought, you know, that's $10 in order. So that somebody bought the bump and somebody didn't is probably what happened in that one. I'd rather optimize my ads for these higher conversion values. This will be even more meaningful as this campaign goes on. At the time of this recording, I think ads went on on the 10th. So it's been a couple weeks that these ads have been on and I'm learning a bunch and optimizing the ads even further. So now you know how to more accurately track your purchase conversion value and send that data right back here to Facebook. It'll drop right here in this column. Hope that helps.